here's been a few questions on how to use the Embrilliant software with the Cricut Explorer family of machines. I use mine all the time, and I think they work beautifully together. This video is going to show you how I actually take the SVG into Design Space. The trick is in the sizing, and I think you'll understand when I get into Design Space. It should work once you export the SVG from the basic and brilliance, it should work exactly as it does from my Stitch Artist software. I am using Stitch Artist 3, so it's going to look slightly different than if you have in brilliance. However, the sizing in Design Space with the SVG that's exported from the software is exactly the same. I can't say that enough. First thing I'm going to do in order to export it, the applique, in my from my Stitch Artist software is to select the applique and that's the umbrella part. I'm going to select applique position from the sidebar and make sure that applique is blue. The next thing I'm going to do, it does say applique position and that's all I really want, is I'm going to come down. I do not inflate. Um, I'll explain that when we get to the Cricut software and I select save all. This actually allows me to export an SVG image so I can trace it in design space. I will save it as umbrella. Sorry about my throat. <clears> throat> and click save. And I've saved it three or four times, so I'm just going to cancel out. Now it is, I make sure I know exactly where it is. It's in my quilting and sewing file. And then I'm good to go. So I've saved it. I have my applique. The other thing I want to show you is when I do have my applique selected, X out of that, and if I am in the Create menu, I go to my applique and I have Fabric Preview selected, Position selected, and I toggle on Pre-Cut. That just simply means I'm sending it to a cutting machine. Now to go back to this menu, which is my ultimately important menu at this point in time, I want to draw your attention to the sizing box. See my cursor is circling it. These numbers are going to be crucial when I go into design space. I can either write these numbers down on a piece of paper or, I'm kind of lazy, I usually do a screen capture. I've got to have it selected to have the numbers up there. I usually do a screen capture and just place it on my desktop. Then I have a quick reference, not only to the numbers, but also to what it, what it is. So now that I'm going to do my screen capture on my Mac, it's Shift Command 4. Then I draw a box around what I want. The click, and it is on my desktop. That's what I need from Embrilliance at this point in time. I'm going to, I'll see you again when I've opened up my design space. Alright, I've opened up quite a bit on my desktop, so I hope I don't confuse anybody with it. I am currently in Design Space, Cricut, and I am in a new project file. I'm going to now try to bring in my SVG file. So I'm going to select Upload Image, and I'm going to go under Image, it is all of my graphics, SVGs, JPEGs, whatever. I'm going to upload an image and browse to the site where I've saved my umbrella. There it is, umbrella SVG. I'm going to select it and open it. Now I can put a lot of different things over here. I can put in brilliance. I can tag it. That's all wonderful stuff. It will help me find it in the end. But for now, I'm just going to save. It's all about the sizing. I'm going to select the image. Little green check mark appears. Insert the image. And oh my goodness, it has come in huge. That's what I was hoping to show you. And you can see it. And I do have a lot open. But you can see exactly how big it is. 
it's like over 12 inches large and if I go to the edit menu where the sizing is it's 13.9 inches wide. I think you'll agree with me that was not the width of the cute little applique that we were working with. I'm just going to size down this window and pull it a little bit to the right because I also want to show you what I have open. Remember that screen capture? It's right here. Now, you don't need to use a calculator on your desktop, but I am mathophobic. I hate math, so I always, and I'm not good at it, so I always use a calculator. To, what I'm going to use are the numbers from my screen capture, especially the width of 3 and 15 sixteenths. If you look over here, just as comparison, even with the 13.9, it is decimal. Again, I said this earlier, it's a little bit different way of handling it. I'm going to show you how to create that decimal so that all you have to do is plug in one number, yes I said one number, with the lock and design space on and it will proportionately size your SVG. Sorry about my little notices. It will proportionately size your SVG to be perfect to be stitched out through the Embrilliant software. So I'm going to my calculator. The number I'm going to be working with is 3 and 15 sixteenths. Watch closely. I'm going to first deal with the fraction. I'm going to click 15, the top number of the fraction, divide by 16. Select equal. That gives me 0.93. That is a decimal. Now I'm going to add the 3, the whole number, plus 3, and that equals 3.9375. I don't need that many numbers. I'm going to round this up to 3.94. I always go up. Over in Design Space, I'm going to go to my sizing box, and I'm going to type in that rounded up number. I can even go to 3.9. Click enter. And now if you look here, it's 1.96, which is approximately what this is going to be, the 1 and 15 sixteenths. We have a perfectly sized SVG to be cut through our Embrilliant software. Now all I have to do is send it to my Cricut, and I'm good to go. I hope this has helped you be unafraid of sizing these SVGs in the Cricut design space. I think they work great together, and I hope you will too. Bye.